Bring us your baffling. Bring us your audacious. We want your sticky notes, sketchbooks, and scribbles. Let's pin them to the wall, kick them around. Kick them around, see what happens. Because we're in the how do I get this startup off the ground business. The taking your business, global business. We're in the problem solving business. 400,000 people. Ready to help you solve problems while they're still called opportunities. opportunities. From figuring it out to getting it done. We're here to help. Welcome to this week's edition of Z360. I'm your host, David Suntup. We have a good show on tap for you this week. We'll take a look at the men's basketball team's different uniforms. We'll check in with some divers as they get ready for this weekend's Zippy Invitational and our feature on the Zips Football Seniors. We start off with men's basketball. Coach Dambrot's squad has five different uniform combinations. Here's senior Jake Kretzer to break them all down. I'm Jay Kretzer, senior forward from Zips Men's Basketball, and I'm going to talk a little bit about our uniforms today. I'm going to start off with the grays. As you can see, we're sponsored by Nike from LeBron, Coach D, Coach LeBron in high school. It's a pretty awesome deal for us. Uh, the grays are one of my favorite uniforms. You know, we don't wear them very often, maybe once or twice a year. But as you can see also, we have the, uh, for Pete Sage Packs, we put that on about two years ago whenever he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, with the shorts, as you can see, we have our UA logo. Um, Blue, blue uh, gray, white color scheme. Pretty cool uniform, one of my favorites, like I said. Uh, first time we ever wore these was against Cleveland State my freshman year. Uh, pretty big game for us, we won by I think maybe uh, 12 that year, that game, so it was a pretty good game for us. I'm gonna talk about a little bit about our blue. Uh, we normally wear these um, on our road games. Uh, we, you know, we take all of our uniforms to tournament games, so sometimes we had to wear the blues. Um, one of my favorite things about these uniforms is the A. Uh, we have an A on both sides of the shorts. It's pretty noticeable for people. Uh, they can see the A for Akron. Um, another thing I like about them, they're fairly lightweight. Um, the shorts are a little shorter, so you can be uh, quicker on your feet. Um, remember first year uh, wearing these, uh, we played at Coastal Carolina. Had a big game. That was my first game my freshman year. It was pretty cool. Uh, these are our traditional whites. Uh, we usually wear these for our home games for the most part. Uh, one of my favorite things about these, another logo on the pants is the Z. Uh, pretty big there. Noticeable is our new logo uh, to the school this year. Um, first time wearing these, or one of the first times wearing these, my freshman year, we, uh, we were actually at OU and they did had a blackout. And it was a big game for me. A lot of family came, uh, went five for five from the three. It's a big moment for me. Um, another thing that I like about the whites, for our home games, usually I like to wear white socks and white uh, knee sleeves for this. Kind of do the all white thing. And then the white undershirt. Um, these are one, probably my second favorite uniform. Next up, I want to talk about our purple uniforms. Um, these were created to uh, honor our coach, uh, Dan Peters, who was the former director of basketball operations here. You know, I knew uh, Coach Peters for a long time. You know, I had a really close relationship with him. You know, he took me on my first visit around campus here at Akron. So, you know, he was always uh, a good, close uh, coach in my heart. Um, here's something interesting about these jerseys. On the back, um, it says Peters, not our last names. Um, it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, to have for us, you know, it kind of reminds us that we're playing for him and not, and not for ourselves, not our name on the back. Also, another thing that's cool about these uniforms is it has the Z on the pants and on the back side it has a cancer awareness ribbon um, also. You know, the first night that we wore these uniforms um, was against Ball State where his uh, son Danny uh, coaches there. You know, we had a big ceremonial tribute to him and his family before the game to honor him and just kind of everything that he did here at the University of Akron. All right, now onto our black jerseys. Um, these are really my favorite uniforms. Uh, they, they fit the best, uh, really tight. Um, my favorite thing about them is the giant Z on the chest um, for our, logo, our new logo this year. You know, I remember the first time that we wore these jerseys, it was a home opener against uh, OU. I think we may have been both undefeated at the time. You know, we did a whole blackout. It was a big ESPNU game for us. It was uh, one of the most memorable games here at the JAR that I can remember. Another cool thing about this uniform is on the back, uh, we don't have our, our last name. We have actually Zips. I remember uh, whenever these jerseys were created, our uh, marketer, uh, Brad Swanson, he uh, wanted to have our Twitter handle on the back. So it would have been at Zipsman Basketball. Um, that was shot down by the NCAA. Uh, so we ended up just putting Zips on that instead. Um, and then onto the shorts. Uh, these are just kind of, uh, they just say Akron down the side, on the one side, and that's kind of the only thing about these. Uh, but like I said, it's a different material uh, than the rest of the uniforms. I think that's why most of the guys like them. Uh, we've wore these uniforms in most of our big games um, on the road. We wore these a lot in, in uh, most of our big tournaments, our ESPN tournaments. I remember wearing them in Hawaii and down in Charleston last year. So these are a lot of the guys' favorite uniforms, and uh, 
we want to wear them every game, but obviously we can't do that. That wraps up a look at our uniforms. Uh, hopefully you learned something new about our five uniforms and maybe something new about my Akron Zips career here. Hope to see you guys soon in the Zips game. Go Zips. The swimming and diving team is preparing for the Zippy Invitational this weekend. Here's how the divers are getting ready for the big meet. Well, this current class is, is uh, extremely hardworking and they get along extremely well, which is uh, a, a big benefit when it comes to long and arduous practices. They're also extremely talented, which makes things a lot easier for me. Paige and, and uh, Alice are off to a little bit of a, a quicker start, but uh, everyone, is, everyone is advancing uh, very rapidly. I definitely think we work really hard. I mean, we wake up at like 5 a.m. for practices all the time and everyone puts in like all the effort for that. Um, so I definitely think like that's a big part of why we succeed is because we're always trying hard and trying to get better um, as a team and as individuals. So. It was a lot of um, summer work mostly. We did continuous practice all summer and I think that helped a lot um, for the early season, definitely. It's always more nerve wracking for the first dive than the rest of your list, obviously, but that one I just try to um, go out there with a bang for the first dive and that sets the tone for the whole competition usually. Most of our training is really get geared towards the end of the year so that uh, we're ready for the championship meets, both the Mid-American Conference Championship and the uh, NC2A uh, zone meets. And then uh, hopefully this year we're planning on attending the NC2A National Championships as well. So that's really what our training is geared towards. So it's really a, it's, it's a marathon, it's not a sprint. And um, that's really what they need to do is they just need to maintain their pace. I enjoy Zippy a lot just because there's a lot of teams from all over. We have a lot of competitors, especially you know men's and women's diving. That's always fun to watch. So I'm just looking to have fun and have a nice Zippy for my senior year. <laughs> Definitely the energy. That's pr probably the best part and why it's like my favorite, one of my favorite meets, just because everyone's so like upbeat. Uh, we're all so excited because it's home. We have a lot of supporters. Hopefully everyone comes out. Twenty-four seniors were honored prior to Akron football's win over Kent State last week. Some seniors discussed their favorite memories in a Zips uniform. Man, we first off we play against Kent State to to go to a bowl game and they beat us last year and messed up our season. That's Oh my goodness, that's like biting into a fat steak. I'm ready for it, you know? I'm ready, uh, that means the whole world for us as a unit, as a squad, as a team. We're gonna do this. It's bittersweet, man. I've been here five years, uh, red shirted, um, played defense when I first got here, so it's just gonna be a bittersweet feeling. You know, it's exciting, but sad at the same time. 2011, I think it was the biggest class that Akron had. Um, my, the thing about my class, everyone got along. Everybody knew each other. So I think I'm gonna miss my, my 2011 class the most. And even my 2011 class that I had, man, I remember coming in my official visit and we just, we all clicked. It wasn't like any weirdness, you know? It was just like, we was all brothers. It's like we knew each other. I'm just gonna miss the unity, man. Coming to practice with guys like Jaja all the time. Oh, my favorite game? Uh, I say my, uh, what it was, my sophomore year, being Kent State and getting the wagon wheel back. And hopefully, th well, this week, gonna be another one of those memories. Favorite game, uh, 2013 against Kent State when we won the wagon wheel back. That was a big one. And also that same year uh, when we took Michigan down to the wire. I, I was just looking at, I keep all the little news articles and all that stuff. And I was just looking over some of the news articles and I remember me and my father was telling, I think it was George Thomas, that, you know, all we wanted to do was just come here and be part of turning Akron around. And man, to be one of the, you know, should say founding fathers, and that's an honor, man. You know, just, I, I couldn't ask for anything else, man, honestly. This is my last time strapping up my helmet for the regular season as a zip, man. And, I'm gonna soak every moment I can up.
That wraps up this week's edition of Z360. This is our final show of 2015. We hope you all have a great holiday season and we'll see you in 2016. Thanks so much for watching. I'm David Suntup for GoZips.com.